Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. Today, we're going to talk about the uses and measuring techniques for our copper trunking products. To best illustrate this, we're going to help our lab engineer, Brittany. Well, JT, what I'm trying to do today is test out some VLAN. So, I have to go from this 24 port switch over to the central patching point, and I guess I'm looking for an easy way to do it. Well, that's perfect. Our copper trunks are going to work great. I've already taken some time to pre-order you some stuff. First, I picked the 24-port modular copper panel. This will go above the switch. For the central patching location, I picked the 72-port 2U panel. That will allow for future growth expansion. And here are our pre-measured copper trunks. We chose Cat6 12-leg riser rated. Brittany, why don't you tell them how we measured these? Measuring copper trunks is relatively easy. You only need about four simple measurements to be accurate. The first measurement I took was from the switch to the bottom of the cabinet. The second measurement I took was underneath the floor, from the switch cabinet over to the central patching location. The third measurement that I had to take was from the floor all the way up to the central patch location. But Brittany, you said there was four measurements. What about the last one? That's right, JT. Don't forget to add 10% for bend radius and extra cable management. Pulling the cable is easy. No snags because of this braided mesh. Compared to 110 punch downs, these pre-terminated copper trunks are a snap to install. Take a look. We also have a nice rear cable management bar to tie down the assemblies. So Brittany, what do you think? Well, I'm now ready to test my VLANs, and in no time at all, thanks to the installation of copper trunks. It really cut down on my install time. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. For more information, visit us on CableExpress.com.